Hello, this is Dr. William Neal, Dennis Paradonis in Wichita Falls, Texas. Today's lesson is how do we minimize the con contamination of the coronavirus? We wash our hands, why not wash our sinuses? Sinus irrigation has been around a long time. My mom and dad, as children, uh, would be made to uh, have a salt solution in a saucer. They would inhale that to help loosen up their sinus issues. More modern innovations have come up with different products. This is one I found at uh, one of the pharmacies uh, made by uh, Arm & Hammer uh, Baking Soda, uh, the company that makes that. Uh, more modern um, innovation is, I've used this for years, uh, Neomed Sinus Irrigation. Comes with these little salt packages, there's very clever siphon uh, tube and uh, I've used that for probably 20 or 30 years. Uh, really good. And it comes with pre-packaged uh, salt uh, packages. Um, one thing, and it even comes with instructions on how to use that Neomed uh, Sinus Irrigation Kit. And um, so one of the, uh, also I've been using this clear nose spray for about three years, I love it. The secret is xylitol sugar mixed with normal saline. It turns out the xylitol sugar is like spraying the bacteria in your sinuses with Teflon, so the congestion flows like tears instead of glue. I love this stuff. But recently, and all these uh, products, I'm going to show you the link, where to find it, so you can use that. But as it so happens, a new research published in England by a Dr. Sandip Ramalingam, I think they got his name right, I'll send you the link, uh, treated uh, patients that had the common cold with hypertonic saline rinse and showed that it either reduced the severity and the duration of the common cold that might be some related, uh, some benefit on this coronavirus. So it's very simple uh, technique, very similar to what's been used. All the uh, commercial products, the salt concentration is not nearly enough to initiate the protective effect in your uh, sinus lining. So. Uh, the formula is to mix up a 3% solution of hydrogen, of uh, normal saline, 3% uh, solution of salt water. And so you take exactly two cups of sterile water. I ran this through the uh, uh, microwave to take away the chill. And you take uh, normal table salt, ionized or non-ionized. And for two cups, you mix in one teaspoon of, of salt, one tablespoon of salt. So then that's about a tablespoon. I'm going to stir that up here. And then while that's dissolving, I will uh, stir that around. I'm going to take a rubber ball syringe that, that every um, parents should have to treat their uh, infants' uh, mucus or ear, uh, aspirate the snot or the boogers out of their baby's nose. And I'll also take a uh, part of the protocol for this is also gargle. So I'm going to take some uh, salt water, set it aside for gargling afterwards. So I have previously rinsed this rubber ball syringe with bleach and our soft soap to get, make sure there's no germs inside or outside this rubber valve syringe. Then rinse it thoroughly with tap water to get all those that disinfectant or soap out of that uh, rubber valve syringe. So I'm gonna squeeze out the air bubble, dip it into the salt, the hypertonic saline solution, and like that. And then I'm gonna squeeze out the excess air that's still trapped in there and make sure I have it completely filled with salt water. Then I'm gonna go to the sink and I'm gonna take a deep breath uh, so that when this um, goes in your sinuses, you know, there's a primeval fear of drowning in a teacup of water. So you have to overcome that fear. So here's the way this works. I'm gonna take a deep breath and flush. Oh. 
Woohoo! Boy, that is uh, strong. So then I'm going to uh, do the other nostril. Take a deep breath. Blow out all the excess. I might have some paper towels handy or a washcloth. I'm also going to do the valsalva maneuver. A pinch your nose because you want to make sure your eustachian tube is clear. So you take a deep breath, pinch your nose, and blow. And I can feel my ears pop. And so that's if my sinuses are, if my eustachian tubes are clear, hopefully my maxillary sinus and frontal sinus are also uh, rinsed with that salt water. So then we're going to gargle. several times with that. We're trying to treat the entire respiratory, upper respiratory epithelium to um, flush out that coronavirus or maybe even the, the virus for the common cold. I want to send you the links to um, uh, the physician that did this study, also the Bail Donine method. And uh, I hope you find that interesting and helpful and hope to see you on the other side of this uh, pandemic. Hey, thanks for watching. God bless. See you soon.